What's going on to you, Gemini? So you have the Queen of Wands, the world, um, the Empress, okay? Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So, for you, Geminis, the Queen of Wands, the World, and the Empress. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, the Four of Cups, you used to talk to some people that you, you used to try to make a relationship out of... Uh, the type of people who wouldn't try to give you the time of the day. And it's not because they didn't like you, but because they thought that, you know, they were always so much cooler than you. And the Empress, the world, and the Empress, the, the excuse me, the Queen of Wands, the world, and the Empress represents, you've had to learn to let that all go away. The world and the empress represents because you understand that there are way more people in the world than just this stupid individual that represents this four of cups. A lot of you Geminis have talked to some serious boneheads, people who seriously don't understand a good thing when they've seen it. So what are they so what are they doing? They out here being stupid as ever, doing what they doing getting themselves potentially caught up into some debaucherous nature or debaucherous nonsense. And what are they doing? When they find themselves in a, in a particular situation, you know what it is that they do? They come to you and they come to, you know, they come over at your house because you know these people. They come over at your house and they and they use you for whatever it is because they, because they think that you Geminis are always gonna be around and, it's, and, you know, stuff like that. Because like I said, they like you. But the world and the empress represents you Geminis making a conscious decision. You're, you Geminis are not going to allow this type of stuff to happen to you anymore. You Geminis are not going to allow that to happen. Because you Geminis are pretty much over with the people who, you know, they like you. But then at the same time, you know, here they are, you know, they never actually want to do anything about the fact that they like you it's always this vague stuff where like i said before they they they, they get you know they get messed up or whatever they come knocking on your door hey gemini where are you a lot of you gemini's understand like you know because you make you like them and they liked you too they still like you but you've moved on and they haven't they're still with the nonsense of you know, them having to, you know, they, you know, they're just too cool for you. But let me tell you what it is. It's not that you Gemini's. It's not that they're too cool for you. What it is, is they know that they're messed up and they know that if they try to be in a relationship with you, they will destroy the relationship because these people are not built. They're not fit to be in a relationship. So, and they know that. So they know that there's no way that they're going to be in a relationship with you Geminis, right? Especially since you Geminis have your own self-respect. You're gaining your own self-respect back. If you didn't have any prior to this, self-respect is starting to become more concrete, right? And there's no way that, and they know this, there's no way that they're going to be able to be in your life with this new level of self-respect, right? that you have for yourself and, and focus and have them be in your life being lazy and unwilling to actually evolve and you Geminis really sit there and allow them to do that. They know that you Geminis ain't gonna do that. They know that. They know that they're gonna have a serious problem on, your, on their hands because you Geminis will tell them, yo, you gotta get up and do something. The Eight of Wands now represents, so what do they do, right? You Geminis may have even told them in the past that you like them. And like I said before, they know that. 
and the four of wands represents they may have even told you something back too that they like you in exchange too but they but even if they told you that you some of you gemini's may be reflecting upon or maybe going through that situation or have went through it right in a not so distant past where they told you that they like you and all of that after you let them know that you were interested in them but again it goes right back into what it is i was saying about how they know that they wouldn't be able to run that on you they're too dysfunctional for that because dysfunctional people you know they're in the game dysfunctional people they know that they're not they're not fit to be in a relationship they're not built for it so because of the fact that they know that they're not built for it you know what they're going to do they're going to like you insinuate that they like you do all this double talk but they never actually go right down the middle and tell you what it is that that they're interested in and talk direct they're not going to be able to do that because on another level on one level they're really trying to save you from themselves because they know that they're messed up and then the thing about it is that the eight of pentacles now represents so you so the thing about it is that it's better off for you gemini's to just move forward with your lives because you have people who care about you already now they may not necessarily be romantically involved with you but you have friends and family and for right now it's all it is that you gemini's really need now the sun represents how it is that as far as you know, you, you get in that strong relationship bond with somebody, that honestly is something that, you know, has to be built up over the course of years, really. Oh, really over a lifetime. Because the two of you never really ever stop, uh, discover, excuse me, discovering about each other. <clears throat> that never stops. That progress, it literally never stops. So... The sun now, right, the sun now represents, but at the same time, you have to build a relationship with somebody that is a decent individual too. I understand that you Geminis may have had your crush on some people, but all of that, you know, the, the, the bad, you know, the person that's bad, you know, the leather jacket, you know, the, <laughs> you know, the, the whole bad stuff, all of that stuff is pretty much out the window. All of that is trash. All of that is trash that you got to throw out the window because the because people who have that type of bad persona, they don't they're, they're dysfunctional. They don't actually get their life together. They think that being cool, like I told you before, and just having you around, having you Gemini's around in limbo is cool. But in actuality, it's really not. The sun card is about you really want to be in a relationship or you really should be in a relationship with somebody that's direct about you, them liking you, and about the course of what this is between the two of you, uh, whether, it's a, whether it's a substantial relationship or whether these people just want to get some, 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 some fun. So now... Right. You have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. The King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords now represents. So what exactly does this mean? This means that, well, the King of Pentacles is about how it is that. Uh, because to, it, it, it gives more clarification about um, the type of this, the type of the dysfunctional people right and why they do what they do the king of pentacles and the three of swords speaks to how it is that they they like to make it seem like they're real cool calm and collected on the outside they're like this right eyelids halfway closed halfway opened you know in a very su suppressed sedated state they're so cool calm collected you know what i mean you you would have thought that you know unfortunately you would have thought that they may have been on something no, just real cool, just real laid back. But in actuality, they're like this, three of swords. They got all kind of issues behind the scenes that a lot of you Geminis don't know. 
Because when they come outside, right, they got to make it seem like they're having fun. They're enjoying themselves. When they got a lot of heartbreak and they haven't learned to get over that heartbreak yet. They haven't learned that. They're still very much so caught up with the heartbreak of the past, regardless of whether it's their circumstances in life, just in general, whether it's one particular circumstance that they keep reliving, ruminating, thinking about it over and over and over again. And then now they have this mentality where they need to try that with, with so many people. But you, Gemini, should not be getting down with that, though. A lot of you Geminis should know what time that is and y'all should be shutting that down because they're going to try to take that type of nonsense out on you because the set, whoever it is, whatever situation that they really got affected by in the past, they, they're consciously keeping that with them to defend themselves because they don't trust you Geminis to actually do right by them because of the fact that they don't really perceive themselves as even having the ability to even move forward. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. What exactly is cool to these people? So to clarify, we have the Temperance, the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands to clarify the Four of Cups. So the temperance is, is that, again, they like you and all of that, but they're not really using their own common sense and their wisdom. They're still thinking from a, a, a self-sabotaging perspective, right? And the magician in the Five of Pentacles is what's drawing you to them in the first place what got them to draw you right in the first place was the fact that you thought that this person may have been on some sort of higher level spiritually and that they knew something that you didn't based excuse me based upon how they were so free to live their lives how you know it seemed like they wanted living mind you because you gemini's live in a world where a lot of people do a lot of fronting a lot of acting like there's something that they're not. And you thought that these people really was in sync with themselves to where even if they looked like they were odd or weird to some people, that they were confident because they knew who they really are and that they don't care about that type of stuff because they're doing them, right? But then the Five of Pentacles is, but then you found out, you saw them, right? This is you looking at them. You saw them for who and what they really are. People who are essentially blind spiritually. People who, you know, they won't even allow themselves to get their, their, their um, priorities in line. Their life is a mess. And for you to get with these people, it would mean that you would have to to do what? You would have to help straighten their life out and set everything in order. And the Eight of Wands represents, is this something that you Geminis would want to do? I just don't see how a lot of you Geminis would want this. A lot of you Geminis may like how it is that they look and stuff like this and the fact that they're charismatic, right? Which is bravado at the end of the day, right? Most of the time, most, I'm not going to say all the time, but most of the times, you know, charisma is bravado, but a lot of you Geminis really have to let the truth be told and, and, and say why it is that you are attracted to this person. Is it because of their looks? Is it because of, you know what I mean? You thought that they were on some sort of higher level of understanding or higher existence, a higher perception or perspective of how they see the world? Because what the cards are saying is, is that this person is not that deep but again y'all know that from experience now this person is not that deep that's just the type of front that people that that person likes to put up so that they don't know that something is wrong with them and that their life is essentially falling apart and you gemini's you know trying to give them a try you gemini's are just putting yourselves you know in a very messed up situation with them because you would, again, you would have to fix, 
their life. You would have to help these people fix their own life, yo. So I just want to say thank you. Uh, appreciate it. If you found value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. There's a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website in which you can uh, support me all different types of ways. Also financially support me as well. Um, on that website, which is the link tree, it'll have a uh, link to my Amazon, the books that I have that are on Amazon. Yes, I've, I've written three books right now, three books, um, three different books. Also, uh, my Instagram page, right? You can go click on it, follow me on Instagram. Really appreciate all the people that did. I have 84 subscribers or less. <laughs> um, then you have my clothing store. Okay, I do have some hoodies. I am going to come out with some new designs. But when I actually get myself a hoodie, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is that it looks like. Um, because I practice what I preach and I do wear my own brand over here, of course. Um, just haven't had a chance to actually get it. Also, too, um, for private tarot readings, you can always uh, contact me at uh, where it says for private tarot readings or, or, yeah, private tarot readings. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website in which it has my prices, right, for the tarot readings, birth chart readings, wealth course, relationship course. Uh, how much time you get, the prices, uh, and it even gives you a description. Now scroll down a little bit, and it'll have the buy now button. The buy now button, you, it, you can click on it. It will redirect you to PayPal. Also above it on each choice, right? Each service that I provide on my website, it has my cash app, cash tag just above the uh, buy now button. And uh, yeah, you can pay me through PayPal, or you can pay me through there. And after it is that you're done, or you may still need some help on how to do that, then you can always feel free to contact me at kareemspiritworks at yahoo.com.